again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 16th of January, 2019. The article was posted on the 14th of January, written by Christina Hall of the Detroit Free Press, and it was put up by the Detroit Free Press. There's an embedded video that you might want to take a look at. It's two minutes and seven seconds in duration. A Macomb County couple is facing murder charges in the Christmas Day death of their 18-month-old daughter who had enough fentanyl in her to kill several adults, authorities said Monday. Antonio Floyd, 28, and Shutanese Barksdale, 27, were arraigned Monday in 37th District Court in Warren on charges of second-degree murder in the death of their daughter, Ava Floyd, according to a news release from the county prosecutor's office. Prosecutor Eric Smith said they were ordered held in the county jail without bond. The couple was manufacturing drugs out of their Clinton Township home, Smith said and the toddler is believed to have ingested the drug by drinking it. The Macomb County Metal Examiner's Office told police the child had an extraordinary level of the narcotic fentanyl in her system at the time of her death, the news release said. Smith told the Free Press an autopsy showed the child had 5 to 15 times the amount of fentanyl authorities have seen in the last 30 overdose deaths in Macomb County. He said it was the highest level of fentanyl the medical examiner's office had ever seen in someone's system. The nation is experiencing an opioid epidemic, Smith said in the news release. However, to see an infant experience such a tragic death on Christmas morning as a result of ingesting a large quantity of her parents' fentanyl is truly gut-wrenching. He added that this type of alleged criminal behavior will be met with the full weight of the prosecutor's office. The parents were at their home when their three children on Christmas morning. They took their children to Grandma's home in Warren that afternoon. A short time later, the toddler stopped breathing, according to the release. She was taken to St. John Macomb Hospital in Warren, where she was pronounced dead. There was no sign of trauma or abuse seen by hospital staff, the release stated. Smith told the Free Press that a sibling of the toddler saw the girl ingest the fentanyl and informed her parents. Law enforcement executed search warrants Thursday at the homes of the couple and the grandmother. Police found scales, grinders, baggies, guns, and drug residue, Smith said. Authorities believe the couple were involved in drug trafficking and were using the Clinton Township home to process and package fentanyl for distribution. In addition to the murder charge, the parents have been with charge with delivery, manufacturing of a controlled substance, manslaughter, second-degree child abuse, and felony firearm offenses. Prosecutors said Floyd is a convicted felon and he also is being charged with additional counts of a felon in possession of a weapon and felony firearm offenses. News of the charges just came hours after top law enforcement officials from the Drug Enforcement Administration, the County Sheriff's Office, and four other law enforcement agencies, including Warren Police and Clinton Township Police, announced the formation of a new federal task force to target drug trafficking in Macomb County. Smith said the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services is seen to the other children. He called the case horrible and said the couple, who he described as selfish and greedy, suffered a twist of fate in that their own child died from a drug that they are accused of manufacturing. How many people do you think died from the drugs that they bought from this couple? Huh? Well, I suspect that They'll never see freedom again once they've been prosecuted and convicted of the countless crimes. I'll attach the link. Watch the embedded video. You might want to pass this along to your like-minded friends. You might want to repost this on all your social media accounts.